My main question is, is it too late? Welcome back to another Nerd Stash. Nerd Stash is proudly brought to you by Webhead. Webhead, for all your website and IT needs. Okay, so today guys we are talking about female-led superhero films. Now the reason I'm talking about this is because they have just announced that a Black Widow movie has entered pre-production and they have got a script writer creating the solo film. I wouldn't stress about it. So Jacques Schaefer is writing for this one and apparently They've got like a bunch of newbies involved, but Scarlett Johansson is actually meeting with them. <laughs> Another one that has been announced is a Kitty Pride solo movie. Now there's a lot of hype around this because it means that they could use Kitty Pride as a way to combine the Avengers Marvel Universe with the Fox X-Men Universe and kind of have that crossover like they do plan to do. I'm massively excited for a Black Widow movie. My main question is, is it too late? Right. We've been asking for a Black Widow movie since the first time that we saw her appear in Iron Man 2. <laughs> We wanted the backstory. We wanted to hear about the Red Room and definitely what happened in Budapest. You and I remember Budapest very differently. So the one they're talking about doing is going to happen after phase three. So we're looking at after 2020 or around 2020 possibly, but no guarantees. There's nothing saying that they are actually going ahead with it, just that it's entered pre-production. We could see a massive like decline in superhero movies over the next few years, which means it could actually not come into fruition. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Now, I know you're like, why are we talking about this? It's like super exciting, but what's the point? I'm super excited about a female-led superhero film in the Marvel Universe because of the fact it's so important. We totally saw this with Wonder Woman and how many little girls were super excited about this and seeing someone that they could identify with on the big screen. I don't know about y'all, but I have two baby sisters and they didn't know that Supergirl existed or that Batgirl was a thing because all they see is Superman and Batman and Green Lantern. They don't even know there's a female Robin. <laughs> yeah, boy. So I'm really, 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 really hopeful that this goes forward and brings us into a new era of like kick-ass leading ladies because it's something we definitely need. We've started to see it more and more in the comic book universe. Of course, you've got the people like Riri, who is Ironheart in the Iron Man series. We've also had Lady Thor come through. And I know a lot of the original fans were kind of like, eh, why you do this? You're messing with something that's been around for years. But it's bringing in a new point of view and a completely different perspective on that universe and we're not just seeing girls as people who are there to have boobs. I'm just gonna cover mine, <laughs> that's fine, awkward. So it's cool that we could possibly see Scarlett Johansson in action fully as the Black Widow so I'd be really excited to see her doing her proper like flirty kill you kind of thing that she does because she was actually trained in seduction as well as being able to kill a man in like 1200 different ways. Anyway, 
say if there was any superhero or superheroine heroine heroine heroine's a drug no if there was any super lady that you could see in a film led by herself who would it be that you would see of course they're already doing the black widow we've got kitty pride we've got the birds of prey coming through and a harley quinn solo movie goody something tells me a whole lot of people are about to die as well as a batgirl apparently being done by joss whedon so sound off in the comments let me know who you'd like to see and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week